Okay, today I thought I would do a video on finding out your gallons in your pool using Google Maps. Google Maps has made it pretty simple for us to find out what our gallons are in the pool with these odd shaped pools. Um, it's, cause they, these pools are really difficult to find out a gallon if you didn't have Google Maps, trust me. Um, so what we do here is come up and take your, your pointer here, come up to the corner of a or in the edge of the uh, pool, right click it and come down and choose measure distance. And then all we do is we follow around and we left click all the way around the pool. And when you got round areas it's a little bit easier if you go a little bit shorter distances. Try to keep straight lines here. And we just keep coming all the way around the pool until we connect back up with the other side. Now we're not going to worry about the steps because there's hardly any gallons in there at all so I'm not going to worry about that. Now you can come it down here he says the total area. The total area is 380. Okay now we can find out our gallons by using that 380. And the way we do that is first let's just first off let's just find out okay this let's just say this shallow end is a three foot shallow end and the deep end is eight feet. So that's 11 feet total, and then we divide that by 2, which gives us our average depth, and that comes out to 5.5. .5. Okay, so we need that too. We need our depth, and we need our shallow end, and then you add those together, divide them by 2, and that gives you the average depth of this pool. So let's assume that this pool is what I just said. So we come down here, we give it 380, so we go 380 times our average depth, which is 5.5, .5, times... 7.48 which is the gallons in a cubic foot equals 15,633 gallons in that pool. We'll just round it off and just say 15,000 gallons in that pool. And uh, do another one over here. Let's just do this one here real quick again. Show you again. Just right click measure distance and this one here we can just go all the way just in straight lines here Google Maps is really accurate too now when you run into a situation like this where they got a tree in the way sometimes it doesn't want to choose but you can go ahead and left click it and drag it to where you want and just leave it alone and then come back here and connect to the dot again that's 486 now let's just assume that this pool is nine feet deep and four feet deep in the shallow. Now that gives us 13. So we divide that by two. And that gives us an average depth of 6.5. Okay, now we have 486 total area. Let's go 486 total area times our 6.5 average depth times 7.48. Um, gallons in a cubic foot and that gives us 23 gallons 629 you can also just go by 7.5 you don't have to do 7.48 but um, that just rounds it off a little bit more but approximately 23 gallons in that pool so and that's the simplest way to um, figure out your gallons in the pool so um, if you guys have any questions please comment and also please subscribe next video I will be um, showing you how to uh, figure out the salt that we're going to need for that pool and uh, other pools. So, um, like I said, please subscribe and uh, please leave your feedback. I would appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.